sleeping late as usual, eh, Snake? Liquid, you're still alive. I won't die, as long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict shall breed conflict, new hatreds will arise, and our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? You enjoy all the killing, that's why. You're wrong. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But, they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. 1991. 
the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just to cover up the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. We're on the verge of extinction. Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. So do I, as do you. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. We're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. You snake!